What's up, you guys? This is Ruroni K95 here. Here's going to be a brand new album review video that I have right here, which we haven't done in quite a while because we're going to be doing a an album review that I have never done like this in a while. But this is the first time I wanted to listen to this album that I have right here because this is particularly how I wanted to come by for this as well. In case if y'all don't, if you're watching, no, don't know if you're watching this channel, here's an album we're going to be reviewing for the very first time. Metallica's debut album, Kill 'Em All. Yes, it's this one for today's album review. Because if y'all guys don't know about Metallica, I'm just gonna give you a quick little rundown for this as well, and I'll tell you the history about it after I talk about the songs. Okay, so Metallica started off with their album Kill 'Em All in 1983 until Metallica released it, the, the other later albums in the 80s on there, such as Ride the Lightning, Master of Puppets, which ironically, Ma Master of Puppets was the th third album to last to feature Cliff Burton on there until Cliff Burton died in a fatal bus accident in Sweden in 1986 until Metallica did their album Justice For All with uh, Jason Neusfeld New and Metallica did their album which is the Black Album which it also includes the hit song Enter Sandman in that one particularly and yes this is particularly of how I wanted to come by for the whole thing for the albums of Metallica as well. In case, you know, because Metallica is my favorite band, in case you wonder, in this one as well, because I just garnered up for this to, uh, to come across for this accordingly, as which I could remember as well. So, we're going to be talking about the album Kill 'Em All, which is the very first album from Metallica. So, before we dive into the history and the about how Metallica recorded the album. Let's dive into um, the songs. Let's go to the songs on this one. Track one is Hit the Lights. This is the very first Metallica song to start of how it sets the tone for any thrash metal song like this as well. Because with those raw power of like fast guitar riffs of what Kirk Hammett did in that one. The Four Horse... Pretty good song, uh, Hit the Lights is. Um, the Four Horsemen, that's track two in that one, because The Four Horsemen's very good. It's got that killer riff on there, because this is particularly how Metallica did that song as well, because, you know, this just gets it very good for how to that as well. Motor Breath, that's track three. It's a very good song, though, because this is how they wanted to do this song, because it's my third favorite off of this as well. The track off this as well. But we'll get to the most somewhat, most of my favorite songs from, from this album at, in just a moment. Track four, Jump in the Fire. Another good song from Metallica, because... I think this is particularly of how what Metallica has everything has ever did as well so far, because this is a very good song though. Anesthesia, and if I cannot pronounce the name, pulling teeth, which is the f um let's see the fifth track off of this album. Anesthesia, Pulling Teeth. It's a very good song. It's got that very pacing of how this is how you wanted to come by for if you ever listening to a a good album from Metallica as well. So that's the fifth track on this one. Track six, Whiplash. This is particularly the best song off of this album. Yeah, because although this song has been on Guitar Hero Metallica and along with Hit the Lights as well, because those are the tracks that you could hear as well, because I just wanted to come by for, if 
you ever want to listen to a, a good songs from Metallica as well, this hell has garnered up for this as well, because especially if you're listening to Metallica's album as well. Yeah. Track 6, Evan. Phantom Lord. Well, this is a very good song from Metallica. What can I say? Because this is how you want it garnered up if you're ever listening to a song on as well. Because everything, this is how Metallica has ever did when they were in the 80s so far. Because when they were re recording the song, because it's very good as well. Track 8, No Remorse. This is a, a fine, good song, though, because this is how you wanted to come by for this as well. This is particularly part of the the good songs of what Metallica has did, particularly, because to me, this is a best song from Metallica uh, as well, in case you all wonder as well. Track 9, Seek and Destroy. A very good song, and I guess... It's my favorite song off of this album, along with The Four Horsemen, as well as Jump in the Fire and Whiplash as well. Because, well, to me, Seek and Destroy, it's got that killer riff, especially for what James Hetfield and Kirk Hammett did on both of these rhythm tracks on the guitar. Yeah, Lars Ulrich did the drums as well as Cliff Burton does the bass in that one because, get a case if y'all don't know as well. And tra and the final track on this album, track ten, Metal Militia, a very good song from Metallica because I love this album because that's the best way of how if you ever been listening to a good album like this as well particularly because I just wanted to come across for this as well for that as well. So that's the songs on this album. And to, if you look at this, I love the insert as well. I mean, the booklet, here's the image of the members of Metallica. If you could pause and see if you could look at this as well. Feel free if you could watch as well. Yeah, some of the songs from for what Metallica did as well. Like the Four Horsemen, um, Jump in the Fire, Phantom Lord, as well as Metal Militia. Are those are the only songs that James Hetfield, Lars Ulrich wrote with uh, Dave Mustaine when when Metall when Metallica was first formed back in the early eighties, because. Dave Mustaine was originally the the guitarist for Metallica, and this particularly of how they have been performing live together as well, because this all has garnered up for this. But this wasn't long, particularly. Dave Mustaine what has found out that this, some of his songs that he wrote with Metallica were on this album. Ever since, because he found out when he thinks that, and then he mistreated Kirk Hammett in that one, as particularly of how, what, ever since Dave Mustaine was kicked out of Metallica, as well, which this wasn't long before Dave Mustaine had to get his revenge on Metallica, when he formed Megadeth, when Megadeth did their album, Killing Is My Business, So What? That's just basically later on in the 80s as well. Yeah, because, you know, Dave Mustaine was kicked out of Metallica because he mistreated Kirk Hammett. For, because he, because he, they thought Kirk Hammett's a good guitarist and Dave Mustaine was terrible at it. But apparently, though, because this got to the whole conflict between how considered how Dave Mustaine formed Megadeth after he got kicked out of Metallica, because this has garnered up to this as well. Well, I like both in as an open-minded person way. I just want to come by for metal history as well, and Metallica has relocated to San Francisco ever since um, 
hair metal was exploding on the pop charts, and Metallica has relocated to San Francisco, and then that's how they released it, their first album, which is the biggest challenge to hair metal bands everywhere, because L.A. didn't treat Metallica as well, because, you know, they were throwing... Because the guards kicked them out, going like, "Get out of here, you punks!" They thought they were a punk rock band, because they were either ridiculed or ignored in L.A. Because the whole two metal for the punk clubs and two metal for the punk clubs, because it was either ridiculed or ignored. It was according to the metal documentary, "Heavy: The Story of Metal," which is a if you haven't seen the documentary that that you saw on VH1 Classic as well, and particularly. This is all, well, considered how Metallica has relocated to San Francisco in the 80s, because ever since, because they wanted Kirk Hammett as a the replacement for, to replace Dave Mustaine in Metallica as well. Ever since um, Kirk Hammett has left the band Exodus as well. In case if you all don't know as well, because this has garnered up of how Considering the fact for this is how you wanted to know for this as well, just considered before Metallica has recorded Kill Em All at the at Music America Recording Studios around May 1983 as well. However, this album was released under Megaforce Records as well, in case if you all don't know as well. Because, in case if y'all, and speaking of wit, this is a new little history for this, hasn't it? Speaking of which, some of the songs, let's see, which, let's say for example, let's see, the four, how, let's see, the four horsemen, jump in the fire, metal militia, fan, and phantom lord. How many, which are, let's see. They're, those are the only four songs that James Hetfield, Lars Ulrich wrote with Dave Mustaine when Dave Mustaine was originally with the guitarist for Metallica, but then he was replaced by Kirk Hammett, who, after Kirk Hammett left Exodus as well, because in case if y'all, if I wanted to come by for history on thrash metal bands as well. Which it does remind me, I gotta get back to do the history on 80s thrash metal when I can get for the next video at some point. So my thoughts on this album? Well, this is the very first time I wanted to listen to Metallica's album Kill Em All, because to me... This is particularly one of my favorite albums from Metallica, in my opinion, though, because I just wanted to come by for to come for this as well, particularly if, if you ever want to listen to this as well. Well, because this is one of the classic Metallica albums, in my opinion, as well, particularly. And for overall, it's a very good album if you haven't listened to it, especially if you're open-minded person like me for existence as well because although I I always enjoy listening to the enjoyment of listening to Metallica, Megadeth, Slayer, Merciful Fate, Venom, Saxon, any other heavy metal bands in general if you've ever been feeling open-minded of how I've been appreciating metal as well because I just wanted to come across for this of how I wanted to listen to a good album from Metallica, that's why. And to me, Cliff Burton is the best bassist from Metallica because he's very good and he's legendary as well because, because you know, Cliff Burton's a, a good bass player from Metallica because I just wanted to come by to this as well for that as well. My score for this album, I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10 for this one, on this video as well. So, I love this album because I wanted to come by to listen to an album from Metallica because I just have a good proper way as well. 
Although I will get more album of the classic albums from Metallica soon at one point, as well for the most part as well, like at maybe sometime as well because, well, to be fair though as well because I have a for the old thing as well. If you ever want to listen to an album as well from out from bands like Metallica because. I just wanted to come by to this as well, particularly of how I have a feeling, particularly of well, uh, for the most part as well, because I just wanted to know for the point of it. So, you know, because Metallica wanted to record an album like Kill 'Em All, as how this has had going all the way back to probably back in the 80s as well, and this is all has garnered up of how they wanted to do an album like this as well. Maybe just considered of how, of all things as well, if you ever wanted to come by for an album like this as well, if you ever want to listen to a, a good album from Metallica, that's why. Because that's just got to my curiosity as well. So that's going to be it for today, for my album review on Metallica's first album, Kill 'Em All, for today's album review. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscribe button, especially if you're new to my channel. Smack the, no the notifications bell and be sure to get notified also as well you know, for more latest updates if you miss anything new. S give the video a like on this video. Like, Give this a triple like on this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments in the comment section below. What do you think about the album Kill 'Em All from Metallica? Just let me know because it's in the comments in the comment section below as well. And be sure to check out my anime plan or analyst because I've been literally getting a t-shirt slayer.com and letterboxd as well. In case you all don't if you're watching the channel as well. And that's all I have what I got for today. Stay heavy for this review because this is the first time I wanted to review an album like Metallica's first album, Kill 'Em All, that's why. So, ta ta for now for this video because this is Ruroni K95 saying thank you for watching my video and I'm glad you liked it. Hope you enjoy it. Hope to see you soon for the next video. Be sure to stay safe and stay healthy and have a great day. This is Ruroni K95 signing off and thank you for watching my video and I will see you soon for more videos I got on plan for what's in store. Take care and stay tuned for more surprises that are coming on the way. Bye.